Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, a very happy feast to all of you. Today, the 19th of March, Holy Mother the Church celebrates Saint Joseph. And this year, as we are in the year of Saint Joseph, uh, uh, special greetings for, to all of you. 19th of March, we celebrate the solemnity of Saint Joseph, the husband or the spouse of Mary. Saint Joseph the Silent, Saint Joseph the Dreamer, Saint Joseph, the foster father of Jesus, has a lot to tell us today. Not much about him is written in the whole of the scriptures. Only in the Gospel of Matthew and Luke we hear about him. And uh, whatever we hear about him is just from the infancy narratives that we have of Jesus. Uh, Saint Joseph, as we know, was known as the just man. Who was the just man during the time of Jesus? During the time of Jesus, uh, in the Jewish society, a person who kept to the laws was known as the just man. And Joseph was a just man because we remember, uh, he could have very well said no to the order of the king to take his wife to Bethlehem for the census, but he took her. He could have told, he could have given an excuse saying, ah, my wife is pregnant, she can give birth any time, and he, I have an additional responsibility because that child is going to be son of God. I'm not going to take the child. Why should I listen to the king? No, he heard. Uh, he could have told, uh, uh, on the eighth day, why should I go uh, and uh, name my child according to the Jewish customs? I will not. My child is son of God. No. Eighth day he went, fortieth day he took his wife and sacrificed turtle doves there. And then when the child was at the age of twelve, what did he do? He took the child to become the son of the law, uh, according to the Jewish customs. So this shows uh, how Saint Joseph was obedient uh, uh, to, the, to the task given to him. He was not arrogant, he was um, rather humble in his dealings with people, in his dealings with himself rather. And we know how uh, he, in heart of his hearts, planned uh, to leave Mother Mary uh, because uh, he thought that she's a woman who is with a child without a father. So how can he take her? But he took, he took her uh, as his wife when the angel came and told him. So one thing that I would like to give you all, you would have heard so many uh, things about Saint Joseph, but today one thing let us listen. He got dreams. Uh, he is Saint Joseph the dreamer. Uh, that means God revealed to him his plans. And he lived according to those plans. Uh, let us tell ourselves even this, that we are going to listen to God. We are going to wait for the will of God. Lord, I do not know what to do. You know, please tell me and I will do according to your will. That's how, no? He took a pregnant wife as his, pregnant woman as his wife. He took his wife and went to Egypt, a place of slavery. For a Jewish person, it is a place of slavery, a place of the enemy. Still he went and from there he was asked to go to Galilee and not to Bethlehem, his ancestral place. And he went to Galilee of Gentiles, a place where it was thought people only are good for nothing will come out of it. From there came the Saviour because Joseph learned to trust in the Lord. So today, lessons for us, humility, trust in the Lord obedience to God and the Lord will utilize us as He utilized St. Joseph. Amen.